Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get the most out of your Minn Kota iPilot trolling motor simply by selecting the right autopilot mode. So stick around. Well guys, if you've watched any of my catfishing videos, you are probably already well aware of the fact that suspend drifting is one of my favorite methods of presenting baits to catfish. And guys, having a trolling motor with the Minn Kota iPilot system can really help you keep your drift under control. But before you can do that, you need to know which autopilot system is going to work best for you. There are two that you can select from. Let's go over what each one of them does. All right, guys, beginning around the 2017 model year, Minn Kota upgraded their autopilot system to what they call advanced autopilot. And the way that works, it projects a waypoint ahead of and behind the trolling motor, draws an imaginary line between those two waypoints, and tries to keep the trolling motor on that heading on that line. Now, the problem with this exists is if you are fishing in somewhere with current or wind that is going to drive you to the left or right of that line. When that happens, your trolling motor will detect that you have deviated from that heading. That's when you see your trolling motor turn hard to the left or right, accelerate rapidly, and try to pull you back onto that line. Guys, when you are fishing a river that twists and turns and trying to keep six rods suspended, this can cause a problem. This can cause your baits to get tangled up. And that is why I prefer to use what they call the legacy autopilot system. So let's talk about how that works. All right guys, the legacy autopilot mode, as Minn Kota refers to it, basically takes a digital compass heading and keeps your trolling motor pointed in that direction when you engage the autopilot. If the boat moves to the left or right, your trolling motor simply compensates and resumes that heading. It doesn't try to keep you on an imaginary line. Now this will let you drift left or right in the river or the body of water that you're fishing, but it eliminates that sudden turn and hard acceleration that you find with the advanced autopilot settings. So let's go ahead and take a moment and I'll talk about how to change the autopilot settings so you can select the one that works best for you. Alright guys, everything we're getting ready to do is going to be done from your iPilot remote. And I know it sounds silly, but the first thing you need to do is make sure your trolling motor is powered up. Once it is, press the check mark button to turn on your iPilot remote. Now, since my motor is stowed, it's telling me that, but we could still go in and change the settings. What we'll do, we'll use the up or down arrows until you see the word options down at the lower left corner of your screen. Hit your left select button and it's going to bring up a menu. At the very top of that menu is autopilot mode. Simply hit the check mark on that and it's going to allow you to select either legacy or advanced for your autopilot mode. Pick the one that you want, press the arrow key, and then press the right select button to close out the menu. Once that's complete, your autopilot mode is selected and your trolling motor will act accordingly. Let's go ahead and change that back. I prefer it on the legacy autopilot mode for drifting. We'll close that, we're ready to go. All right guys, well that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video. I hope this video has helped you out and I hope my simple explanations of the Minn Kota autopilot modes assists you in selecting the one that works best in your application. Guys, like I said, for drifting the rivers where current may take me left or right, the legacy system works best for me, but pick the one that works best for you. Guys, if this video has helped you out, please take a moment and hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to this channel, checking me out for the first time, I try to post a tip video every Saturday that covers a fishing or boating related tip or trick. So hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it. That'll give you a notification every time I post a new video or go live. Guys, like I said, I hope this one helps you out. I had to learn this the hard way through a lot of frustration. 
hopefully this video keeps somebody from having to learn it the same way I did. Guys, until next time, we'll catch you out on the water.